Hello and welcome back. So today what we're playing is a game called Ice Farm Simulator. Um, it's pretty new for those of you guys that don't know. The game I think did just come out not too long ago. Um, there is I think under about 100,000 plays currently. Um, but in my opinion this game's sort of like... Um, what do you call it? That bee, what is it? Bee Swarm Simulator? I haven't played that game in so long, but uh, it's kind of like Bee Swarm Simulator. But um, anyways, basically what you would do is you just kind of like not or not really knock. I guess you break these blocks, uh, these ice blocks, and then obviously you get your little uh, like fruit or whatever underneath it, uh, which is interesting. It's an interesting take on something. Um, but it's definitely kind of fun, um, especially to pass time and stuff. Uh, I definitely recommend you guys playing this game. Um, I do also have a few of the game passes in here uh, in this game just because I do enjoy the game. I did want to support the developer. Um, and recently, I think the developer actually uh, accepted my friend request, which was kind of cool. Um, but I honestly wasn't really expecting him to, I guess. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, the game is really, really, really interesting. Um, there's a quite a bit of like things on here that are, uh, I feel like that I haven't seen in a lot of other games. Um, but it does take a while, uh, for sure. This game is definitely like one of those grindy type of games where you have to stay in it for a while to really start making something of it, I guess. Um, but they do, they do have like quests and stuff. So as you guys can see, I've done a quite a bit of these quests. So, as you guys can see, I have uh, to collect 150,000 Christmas trees. So, I don't really know what that gives you. But I did a quest on here that uh, I don't really want to say how you get the Santa hat um, to spoil it. Also, just in case uh, the developers, I guess, don't really want people to know. I don't really know if it matters. But uh, anyways, yeah, it's it, this game is really, really cool. Um, but... What I was going to go ahead and do is let me go ahead and sell this stuff real quick. But I think my plan today was to try to kind of complete some more of these uh, quests here. So what we need to go do is collect some bananas. Um, so we need to go up top here to the icy tropics, which is uh, interesting. Uh, but they do have jump, double jump on the game, which was interesting. I honestly didn't even know they had double jump on the game until like... I don't know, probably like an hour or two after me actually playing the game, uh, which was kind of funny because um, not a lot of games usually put double jump in it anymore. Uh, and if they do, it's usually like a game pass type of thing or something that are like sprinting. Um, but anyways, uh, they have like little shoes and stuff. Let me, actually, before I do that, let me go ahead and show you guys kind of the shop what I was talking about here. Uh, so they have like obviously you have your tools and then you have backpacks. It would be kind of nice if when you like go into the actual shop, you can kind of select like tools, like backpack, hats, shoes, something like that. Um, maybe he'll, maybe they'll add that or he, I don't know how many people are actually developing the game. 36. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm not getting very much as, or at least as much as I thought I would, but that's okay. But I'm getting 36 per pineapple. So that works. And uh, yeah, the game kind of lags. I don't know what's going on with it. Um. It was fine when there wasn't that many players on it. Um, but anyways, so basically when you would, you would actually start out over here. And this is kind of like where I bought the harvesters. So as you guys can see, you start off with your basic one. I've already purchased the enhanced harvester. Had that for a little bit. Purchased the super harvester. There's an epic harvester, which is 6 million and a 15 million. Okay, so that's cool. Um, and they all have obviously... Let me go ahead and show you guys that real quick too. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but they kind of show you guys at the bottom here, uh, like the little um, abilities, I guess it has. Look up to these people and this is where you get your quests. So you have one guy there. You have uh, your little banker right here. This is your banker. And then you have, um, who is it? Your farmer. So you got your farmer right there. And then obviously the Santa is going to be in the North Pole. So, um, I think what I want to try to do today is, 
maybe you get closer to some more Christmas trees. And then um, if it teleports me. Okay. Interesting. Um, anyways, I think I want to try to hit some more of these Christmas trees. And then I honestly want to see what is close to it. But I did um, break, I don't know how many, I think it was like 50,000 Christmas trees or some crazy thing. Because I have 131,000 right now. But I broke like 50,000 of these trees. And I got like a nuke or something. Which was, I don't know. It wasn't like worth it. I guess so I didn't really want to have to try to do a hundred like what was it, 150,000 trees or whatever it is and then it turns out to just be like one of these little charms or something which you can kind of just get from any other quest so that was kind of pointless uh along with these like nukes and stuff I feel like you can also collect these um on random drops or something I don't exactly know how you get them but um yeah it's just weird I don't know let's go ahead and try to make some more money um just because like I said, the 50,000 tree thing, I don't know. It was so disappointing to get that reward. Um, and I, th I don't know if the rewards are random, uh, like a random kind of percentage wise or something um, or what. But yeah, it was just it, wa it was like a waste of time. I feel like a slap in the face. Um, but anyways, I'm not saying not to go uh, cut the trees down and stuff, but that was just on my end. Um, but I think it would be cool to see what the 150,000 trees um, gives you, but we'll maybe we'll grind for it like uh, off camera or something. But for right now, the game is a bit laggy, so it's kind of hard to even enjoy playing the game just because it's like sitting here for 20 minutes trying to break one block. I feel like uh, not really, but yeah, anyways, um, I do hope you guys are enjoying this video. Um, I do appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing me a lot lately. It really does mean a lot. Um, I don't know what else uh, to say about that, but um, I do have some new groups on Roblox that I've created to start making some other games uh, as requested by some of you guys. That way, instead of it just being kind of one group that has random games popped up left and right, I want to be able to make other studios in a sense to where I can just kind of throw and uh, like older games, I guess, that I created that I don't really either work on or uh, just make minor improvements on over time that uh, people can still play it because people have been asking to play some of my other games and they are closed. Um, but I did put up a few of my other games recently back on my Sins development uh, studio on Roblox. But uh, yeah, if you guys do want to join my group on uh, Roblox, definitely do that. It would help me out a lot. Um, that way we can kind of keep growing as a community. Um, but also, don't forget to join my um, Gilded group, as I will be doing a lot more giveaways, as in like Robux and stuff on there. I think we only have about like six or seven members right now. Uh, but, I mean, it would be nice to start getting some more. But anyways, uh yeah i do hope you guys did enjoy this video um that's probably gonna be the end of this one just because there isn't too too much else to do on the game uh at least as of right now i feel like and i've kind of uh got as far as it lets me in a sense without taking another few hours to get to the next stage to show you guys more um but i can show you guys around the map a little bit before the video ends just to show you guys kind of what other, all the other things they have uh, so basically, obviously when you spawn in, this is your first shop, you walk in here and then you'd open your shop. You have your pipes, your bags, shoes, candles, so on and so forth. And then obviously over here is level 15 required, so I can't pass it. So I can't show you guys this side very well, but, um, they do have some other things it looks like. So then it looks like you would kind of chop stuff down over there. Um, and then it, I think you go up here. I don't know. It, yeah, I can't make it up there, but I think you go up there and there's stuff up there as well. Um, but, and then I showed you guys the harvester store, uh, earlier. So obviously, and then you just kind of start off, you would start off with, uh, these, your carrots. And then that's kind of how you'd advance. Cause you go from the carrots to basically the potatoes to the tomatoes, and then you'd come up here. And that's how it goes in a sense. And then you'd start off 
over here in the blueberries and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, but I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, like I said, I do really enjoy this game. I do hope they uh, keep updating it or if it's just one developer. I hope he does keep up updating it. Um, it's definitely a fun game. People have also uh, said that the game is like Bee Swarm and they enjoy it and so on and so forth. There's been a quite of other people that I've read their messages on here and stuff, which is cool to watch just because I like uh, seeing other developers um, basically succeed in a sense. Well, not really. I don't know how you would say succeed because it's like... I don't know, their game, I guess, starts getting attraction, if that makes sense. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I guess I hope to catch you guys in the next video. And share with all your friends, family, and hippos. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.